Now, in each of these, the case is simply to remember backwards brackets me. That's always about, I can't emphasize enough. Please do not just, oh, okay, this is the step I have to do now. Who knows why, it's just the step I, and then my answer matches the thing at the back of the book. Don't do that. Remember, brackets are just about saying, okay, everything that you see inside the brackets, do that to it. Just take whatever the thing is at the front and apply it. Now, one of the things you need to remember is that, again, because mathematicians are famously lazy, lots of things are actually missing from here. There's so much shorthand in here, sometimes we forget that it's there. For instance, first thing, there's multiplication in there, right? So this is 5x, take away 5 times all that. Okay, and if you remember that, it's not that difficult to expand this thing. You're going to do it once, twice, and then you can do some simplifying. Watch. Nothing's going to happen to this 5x. It's just hanging out the front there, not affected by the brackets. The first pairing is minus 5 times 2x. <laughs> Deal with the numbers. 5 times 2, of course, is 10. Ten. Ten. And the minus sign comes along for the right, <laughs> along with the x. Okay. So. I've done that bit, I have one more term left in the brackets, right? So I've minus got five. minus 5 times 1, which is minus 5. Okay. Now remember I said, like, there's a point to this. The reason why is because the 5x and the minus 10x are like terms, so I can collect them. And what I'm going to get will be simpler, right? 5x take away 10x, what do you get left with? Minus 5x, minus minus five right? Just because the order matters in subtraction. So minus 5x take away 5. And it's done. That's as simple as it's going to get. Okay. So in the same way, let's have a look at this guy. This you have to be watchful because of the double negative. Yeah. So again, the take away 6, subtract 6, that's what's going to apply to everything in the brackets. Right? So 8, take away 6 times 3x, which is how many x? 6 18. by 3, 18. And then when you take away 6 lots of, taking away 2, it's plus 12. Right. One last time, you can see. Like terms are revealed now by expanding so I can collect them. Yeah. 8 plus 12 gives me 20. 20, and I'm home. Now, last one I'm just going to show you, and then we'll move on to substitution. Like I said, they're shorthand, right? This one's double shorthand because not only is there a time hiding in there, it doesn't even tell you what you're multiplying by. There's a 1 there, right? Minus one is the number that gets multiplied by each of these, sorry, each of these terms, right? So again, you get a double negative. That's a bit confusing, but it's just quicker, right? You don't need to say one x or one pi. You just say x or pi, whatever number you have. So now that you know that, you can do the expansion. Can someone tell me who's already done this question? Yeah, Victoria, can you help me? Don't tell me the answer. Can you tell me what the next step is? Yeah, can someone help her out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gary, yes. go ahead. Is it minus 2x and then plus 7? Very good. Okay, so you can see, just like in the previous one, Gary's now that there's that double negative, one lot, 2x, and there's a minus sign. Okay. Once you simplify out, how many x's are left? X. Just a 1, plus 7. No problem. Okay, make sense?